Police in Warwick say DNA evidence played a crucial role in leading them to a murder suspect. Michael Soares is charged with first degree murder in the 2013 killing of John Jack Fay. The 66 year old jogger was found dead in Warwick City Park. And for nearly six years, Fay's murder went unsolved. Now police believe they have the man responsible. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was in court today for Soares arraignment and spoke with police about the investigation. She joins us live from Warwick now with the latest. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, police today say the key here was DNA evidence, and without it, this nearly six-year-old unsolved murder might have stayed that way for years. The charge is this defendant. 33-year-old Michael Soares led before a judge on a felony charge of first-degree murder. The Pawtucket man now the suspect in the 2013 killing of John Jack Fay. The case was never cold and has been actively pursued since the day of the crime. It was May 2013 when Faye's body was discovered inside a trash barrel off a walking path in Warwick City Park. 66-year-old Faye, a Vietnam veteran, retired postal worker and father, would jog there twice daily. His last morning, he was ambushed at 4.29 a.m. in an isolated part of the path. Jack was a large, fit man who fought back but succumbed to his injuries. Police say Faye was bludgeoned and stabbed to death. They found DNA under his fingernails at the scene and on the suspected murder weapon, creating this composite sketch of a possible suspect. Last year, police hired a genealogical research firm, and the DNA from the crime scene was uploaded to a public DNA database. There was a familial match. We determined that the defendant, Michael Soares, was the only male in his lineage that matched the DNA profile. With that lead, the team developed other evidence to obtain a search warrant for a sample of SOAR's DNA. The Department of Health examined SOAR's DNA sample and came to the scientific conclusion that SOAR's was the source of our assailant's DNA. Now SOAR's is being held without bail as the investigation continues. Without this line of investigation, we would not be solving this case anytime in the near future. And police today told us that the motive for Faye's killing is still unknown at this time. They are asking anyone with information on SOARS or this incident to contact them. You can find out how to do that on our website, WPRI.com. Coming up new at 6, we hear from Jack Faye's son about this major breakthrough in the case. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. First at six, we're hearing from the son of a murder victim about the arrest of his father's accused killer. And we first reported the break in the nearly six-year-old murder case last night. Warwick police say DNA played a crucial role in leading them to the suspect, 33-year-old Michael Soares. He went before a judge today charged with the 2013 murder of John Jack Fay in Warwick City Park. New tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with investigators and Fay's family. She joins us live now from Kent County District Court in Warwick. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, police tell us today that the suspect in this case had no prior criminal record and the motive for this killing still remains unknown. Today, I spoke with John Faye's son. He says he's grateful for the years of police work and he, like us, hopes to get some answers about what led up to his father's brutal killing. Nearly six years after John Jack Faye's brutal killing in Warwick City Park, a breakthrough. We had DNA, we had a weapon, we had a very secluded crime scene, and we could not come up with our suspect. Now they have. Police hired a genealogical research firm called Identifinders International, and with access to public DNA databases, traced DNA from the crime scene to 33-year-old Michael Soares. After a search warrant and cheek swab, the Department of Health confirmed to police it was Soares' DNA left in blood at the crime scene and under Faye's fingernails. Without this line of investigation, we would not be solving this case anytime in the near future. Faye was a 66-year-old Vietnam veteran and retired postal worker, a father to multiple children, including Dan. He was a good, really smart, intelligent guy, and he would talk to anybody. He says he appreciates investigators' continued work on his father's case. Not an easy case, you know. Here it is, what, almost six years later, and, you know, still kind of digest, you know, what's going on now. You know, close one chapter, it opens up another one. And today here at Kent County District Court, Soares was ordered held without bail. Last night, police were at his Pawtucket apartment collecting evidence, though they told us today they have not yet interviewed him. They are now asking anyone with information on Soares or this incident to contact them. You can find that information right now on our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live tonight in Warwick, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.